outside and unfortunately even inside our own parishes we have people telling us to stop talking about marriage an institution that the church has been talking about for thousands of years they say that if we stand up and talk about the natural definition of marriage that we are somehow being mean or bullies supporting the basic rights of children and the authentic rights of people with same-sex attraction are not mutually exclusive and we must resist the forces that are telling us otherwise It's unfair to children if we don't make every effort to stand up for their rights, to be known and loved by their mother and their father whenever possible. While divorce, death, and other circumstances too often prevent it, no child should be intentionally deprived of knowing their mother and their father. If we allow genderless marriage to be made law, the implication is that the contributions of part of our community, either men or women, are somehow insignificant and less valuable. I can put up with a lot from the government, like higher taxes, and while I don't like it, pushing God out of public schools, but letting a small number of business and government elites and judges define what marriage is for Minnesotans doesn't seem very fair and doesn't make a lot of sense. Right now there is a court case in Hennepin County to change the definition of marriage through the courts. It's the same type of case that happened in Iowa before marriage was redefined there. Politicians have said they will try to redefine marriage at their earliest opportunity, even next year, if the marriage amendment doesn't pass. Our culture today of moral relativism attacks marriage and a lot of our Catholic values, but marriage is a foundation of our society and is definitely something worth fighting for, uh, my marriage and, and the institution itself. And um, you know, a lot of people say live and let live, uh, let everybody do what they want, but uh, this is too important of an issue to do that on. We need to stand up and, and fight for it and, uh, and preserve it. For, for our sake, for our children's sake, and for the sake of our entire society. The state should have laws to protect marriage because it was around long before the state came around. Um, I don't think it's their place to, to redefine it. And so um, I guess as, as human beings, I think most of us just search for the truth. And what is the truth? And as Catholics, we try to find what is God's will. And I believe that this is his will to stand up and and fight for it and protect one of the gifts that he blessed us with. I encourage all of you to vote yes to the Marriage Protection Amendment on November 6th.